YouTube, Twitter, for Mr. Prince of SoundCloud, SoundCloud. Getting a lot of reaction from my video yesterday. Some negative. Now, I just want you guys to know, I want the Eagles to win. <laughs> Some of you guys are like, just because I put that thumbnail up that uh, Pats were going to win, that they're going to lose. Oh, boy. I'm like, look, I hope the Pats do lose. Who y'all talking to? Go ahead and lose, Pats. Prove me wrong. Look, I want the Pats to prove me wrong. I want to believe that the NFL is not fixed. There's all kind of videos out, you know, of the last game showing the ref did this and that. Look, I told you guys Minnesota was going to lose. I showed you guys the pattern ever since Aaron Rodgers got taken out. And nobody can tell me why he isn't playing. No one. I showed you guys the pattern and how everybody got eliminated. I told you the Chiefs were going to lose against the Titans. So the Titans would be an easy win for the Pats. The Vikings lost um, not because they couldn't beat the Eagles. They lost because they could beat the Pats. You got to uh, uh, you gotta understand, every team that beat the Pats this year, which is only two, was taken out quickly. They had the Patriots number. And the only team that could have threatened the Pats' uh, uh, victory instead of taking them out because the Pats had to face them, they took out the players. What I tell you was going to happen in week 13, Antonio Brown was going to get hurt. As soon as I, as soon as I uh, figured out that, I was like, oh, they're going to play in week 17. I was like, that's going to be the big game. And then I started looking at both their records were the same. They were, um, let's see, the Eagles were one. They were two and three overall. I was like, Antonio Brown's going to get hurt. What happened? Antonio Brown got hurt. Wasn't even playing up the par after that for the rest of the season. All of a sudden, Le'Veon Bell doesn't want to play. He shows up to a game late. It's like something happened. And I'm going to tell you guys, look, the stuff that's happening is like I don't want to say. I don't want to get that deep into it because I know. I know what's going on. I know some of what's going on, but I know enough to keep my damn mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all don't want to believe it's fixed, that's fine. I'll just keep telling you guys what's going to happen. And then when it happens, maybe one of y'all wake up. You know, if some of you guys are betting on, you know, what I say, I, I strongly suggest you don't do that. Let me say this one more time to be crystal clear. For one, I do not bet on the games. I don't, I don't have a lot of money. I have enough to get by with. You know, I don't bet on these games. I don't play that. They're about to legalize that. But if you see what's happening in casinos when people are hitting the jackpot, the casinos are saying that the uh, the machines malfunction. Guys, look, that's deep hooey right there. That's that's deep. That's the, uh, those are people you don't want to play with. All right, they gonna get their money, and when it's time for you to get yours, you're not gonna get your money. I don't want to play that game. I don't want to be nowhere near that. You know, and if there's a lot of people I find out that are betting on what I say, I'm going to shut it down. I'm not going to make any more predictions. I'm not. You guys can just look at my past videos. I have almost 2,000 of them. And just go through it and look at the rhythm of the stroke, like I said. But um, I'm not playing any dangerous games. I don't want nobody knocking on my door. I'm not that dude. I'm not trying to live that life. You know what I'm saying? I like to sit on my porch and sip the soda. I like the fact that I only got a few uh, subscribers. I don't need 20 million subscribers. I don't want to be well known. <laughs> I I would like to have like 5,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to be able to pay a, pay a bill every month. Right now I'm almost to that. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to be able to pay like you know, my I'd like to be able to pay half my rent with YouTube money. You know, so about five thousand subscribers somewhere around there. I don't know. Maybe maybe not even that. Maybe two and a half thousand. 
you know, 2005, somewhere around there. Yeah, I might do it. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm not trying to be Big Willie on YouTube. I don't want to be known. I don't want to be famous. You know, I like to keep it simple. And it benefits you if I can keep it simple. That way I can tell you some of the stuff that's going on out there, you know, without people coming and knocking on my door. I don't, I'm not trying to hear from them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I will leave sports alone if that happens because I, I just don't care that much. Like I said, I'm not benefiting from this. So one person said there is no God. And the, the word says only a fool says that there is no God. The other person says, why do you watch it if you think that it's fixed? And I, and I always have to make this clear. I do not watch the games. I watch the highlights because you guys want to talk about it. You know, I you know I I talk about God. I talk about the Christ King. I get into that. I get into that word. I get into the Bible. You know, so I get into some of the stupidity of people that are doing out here. I get into stuff like that. You want to get into something, but I put these videos up because they're entertaining to me of the stuff that you guys say. You know, so I, I just wanted to make that clear. Will the Pats win? I believe so. I told you got something on my lip. Some dust. I told you guys that at the end of last year that the Pats was going to win. You know, somebody's asking me, uh, will Cleveland win? Um, you know, not the Browns. Cleveland Browns ain't going to do nothing. Well, I don't know. The Cleveland Browns, they're going to get the all top draft picks. Cleveland Browns going to be in the playoff playoffs next year. <laughs> Cleveland Browns going to be in the playoffs next year. Uh, Garoppolo's going to go to the Final Four next year, but he's not going to win at all. I'm going to tell you that right now. Garoppolo's going to the Final Four. And uh, here's another. And when I was talking about Cleveland, when I was talking about LeBron James and the Cavs. But here's another thing I think is going to happen, and I'm going to be out on this one. I think Tom Brady is not going to retire this year unless he gets hurt. And here's what I think. I think he's going to lose next year. And then the year after, he's going to win and leave. That's what I'm predicting. Tom is going to win one more after this one, then he's out. But it's not going to be next year. Tom is going to lose on purpose next year. And he's going to lose to a team that can beat them but slips by in the playoffs. And that one team that I think can do that without nobody making a big deal out of it is going to be the Chiefs. It's going to be Alex Smith and the freaking Chiefs. Uh, they're going to beat New England twice next year. They're going to beat New England. No, they're going to beat New England once next year. And, yeah, they're going to see New England again. I think the Chiefs are going to see New England twice, and they're going to beat them. And they're going to beat them. They're going to beat them in the final, what, eight? Because, uh, let's see, they'll get past the wild card. Yeah, they'll beat them in the final eight. And um, I think probably Pittsburgh is going to take it next year. Uh, Pittsburgh's going to beat. Pittsburgh's going to have a hard time with the Ravens, but they're going to they're going to beat the Ravens again. Uh, Flacco, Joe Flacco, they're going to beat the Ravens in the uh, conference championship, and they're going to move on. They're going to go into the Super Bowl and win. That's my pick for the winner. Uh, who they're going to face off against? A lot of people want to think it's Casey Keenum. I'm not going to say that. Listen, they could face off against San Francisco and not one person will say a word about it. Not one person will be all struck by that. Even though I don't think it'll be San Francisco. Uh, Bortles, Blake Bortles. No, it's definitely not going to be him. They're going to beat those guys. Jacksonville. Uh just throwing some stuff out there. I think Pittsburgh is going to take it, but I think uh, they're going to see um, Keenum, Casey Keenum, <laughs> maybe Dallas. What would the ratings be if Pittsburgh faced Dallas? Remember, Dallas got their boy back. If he can keep his nose clean, quarterback got a high QBR, running back is the best in the league. I say Pittsburgh and Dallas next year. In the year after that, 
I'll say San Francisco and the Patriots. It's your boy Tone 202.